Now I am delighted to introduce our friend Shamim Nambuma from the uh, Chill AI Lab Group. Uh, she is a remarkable entrepreneur. She is everywhere. Uh, she has been uh, appointed, uh, uh, I think it is ambassador of, of Bloomberg. She has been Forbes 30 under 30, I believe as well. But al also she is doing incredible projects that are helping to advance healthcare and prevent food waste. She's working also with a very, very deep and, and touching personal story of, of uh, success and, and more importantly, of overcoming problems and, and difficulties. And we're just very happy to have Shamim and Buma with us. Uh, we, we, we are just so happy to welcome you. I, I can see you finally there. And uh, please start by sharing your story. We are just so happy to, to uh, be inspired also and moved at all the work that you have done in, in AI and that you keep doing uh, both in healthcare and in food waste prevention. Thank you. Well, thank you for having me today. Um, my name is Nabu Mashamim. I'm a co-founder of Shilail Group of Companies. Um, I'm a breast cancer survivor and I am a Bloomberg New Economy Catalyst. I was chosen by Bloomberg last year as one of the top 30 people in the world who are using technology to influence their communities in the different countries. So having gone through a challenge in my life that I went through a pain that I would not want anyone else to go through in their lives. So becoming a breast cancer survivor, I opted for myself to know that I have to do so much for the different communities of the people are out there. So, um, and I'm happy to be here. I do everything with passion and love so that I can ensure that I'm impacting the different communities in the different societies. Um, we use the power of artificial intelligence to avail women in 10 countries in Africa with chronic related services, specifically that is cancer. We provide um, e consultation, a referral, um, telemedicine for the disabled people. We've reached very many millions of people in Africa. And with this, I can say breast cancer is the leading cause of death among all cancers in the world. And actually in the developing countries like Africa, more than 70% of the day are due to financial barriers, information barriers, and also the long distances to the different hospitals. As one of my colleagues says, um, we should also look at prevention mechanisms before we look at the treatment mechanisms. And that is what Sheila Lab Group of Companies does. Um, we look at ensuring that no woman dies because of being diagnosed with cancers in the late stages. And if I had gotten cancer and then it had reached the late stages, I would not be here influencing um, the very many communities out here in Africa and all the countries that we are operating. Um, we also fight food waste because Chile is a group of companies, yes. Um, we are also in the healthcare sector, but also in the food sector. And here we prevent food waste. I got to know about this issue um, while I was in the community, working with my different, very many groups of women, and then food was something that was, um, something that was a very big problem for them. So we provide one-stop shop for discounted food through linking the food stores to those who are willing to buy their food at a price that is at a reduced amount. With this, we ensure that people save for their food. We ensure that even those who cannot be able to afford food can be able to access it because hunger um, is something that has affected people before I and mean, when COVID 19 came. This has been really, really a very big thing. So we are doing all of this to ensure that we create change in the very many communities out there. And being a woman, I'm passionate about changing the lives of others and being a young entrepreneur doing using technology to influence the different communities that we are working in. Actually, um, our food company um, has been able to reach um, millions of people and actually now in so um, with this, this is to impact the different communities that are out there that can be able to access our services. Realize that very many women in different communities may fear to come out or may have gone through challenges that they are uh, in their lives, but someone can look up to me and be like, hey, 
I am at least okay, and then I can do something to improve in the community. You don't necessarily have to do something in healthcare sector, but what you have passion about, that even the challenges that you go through um, can help you build and do something with love and passion and deliver the different communities. So um, I'm really so glad for um, to be on such a platform and we can hook up on LinkedIn, on Twitter, and be able to impact the different communities out there that are really in need of services and really are people who are there that, hey, I really have to do something for the different people. And thanks for organizing this, um, Carlos and the team. I'm really so grateful to be here. And yeah, as I said, a big thank you to everyone. And yeah, I'm glad to have been here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, I mean, for your story, overcoming a huge challenge. And uh, I am just so happy to see all the work that you're doing and, and, and that you're thriving. I see that you also have uh, a lot of opportunities and, and investment coming in and so on. So I'm just so, so happy that you were here today sharing your story. Thank you, Thank you dear.